Hello YouTube, this is a 10 minute preview from one of our much longer interview episodes. You can find the links to this episode and the rest of our podcast in the description below. Liking this video really helps us out, so we appreciate every single one of you. Well, not Dave, he didn't turn up for this little intro piece, but I do. As always, be good, love you lots, until next time. I'm just going to sit and record him, wait for him to join, I guess. Yeah, he'll be on time, he's bloody German, isn't he? <laughs> he can't say bloody German. Right, Geek is still playing V++. He'll be just on time, trust me, like... Let me hear you, fuck! Shall we try and find him in V++ and then say, Oi! <laughs> I'm going to go to the toilet, let's see if we can. <laughs> <laughs> try and join his game. <laughs> I will, I will, I will. Have you gone in? No, nah, service full. Ah, kurva. Oh. Uh, Hello. Am I early? Just on time. Oh, as always, you know, as we Germans are known for. Uh, oh, <laughs> that <looks> good. <laughs> How you doing? This, I'm Dave, obviously, and this is Andy. Hi, Andy. Hi, Dave. I'm Geek. Hello, Geek. Thank you very much for accepting our um, invitation. Yes. Thank Andy, you uh, or... for inviting me. Uh, this is, I think, what I should say as well. <laughs> so I was uh, all day foying Daisy, and uh, as Daisy wanted to be, it made my half my PC crash. How are you getting on? Were you winning? Uh, I was doing some V plus plus. Yeah, know, we... warming up for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Get your rage ready. That's what it is. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm ready. You know, all loaded up. Well, if you're ready, we should get started. I'm ready. Dave? Fuck it, let's do it live. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm going live, guys. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I showed Andy a meme of that uh, family guy and then that American guy kicking off about the teleprompter. And he's like, fuck it, I'll do it live. <laughs> oh, I don't watch Family Guy. What? Yeah. That's it. Let's end this interview now. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> I, I did. Oh, I, I'm wrongly worded. Cut that out. No, I did watch uh, <laughs> a few episodes uh, when I was young, but uh, I didn't watch pretty much most of it. He when grew you up fast. hang on, a minute. I need to roll back a little bit. When you were young, geek. <clears throat> so uh, you know, kind yeah, kinder. You know, when uh, when I was young and I was still watching TV. Uh, we have a TV at home. I just I don't <laughs> think I've touched it in a few years. Um, when I was young, I would uh, watch. Uh, I think South Park, Family Guy. Yeah. Well, oh, they, they had they had the TV uh, programs there that would come in the evenings. You're like early 20s though, aren't you? 22. Yeah, fuck. Oh, oh man. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. When you were young, fuck off. You've got another 10 years of being young. <laughs> yeah, we're, we've got like 12 years on you. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> we're old boys. <laughs> old long time, old timers. We're all, yeah, old timers. Dave's got really saggy balls and I'm going a bit grey. <laughs> oh, my God. You can send me a picture after. <laughs> <laughs> send you a picture now. <laughs> okay. Put on the live stream. Show it. <laughs> oh, dude. So, yeah, let's uh, let's talk a little bit about you, Geek, and where you come from, uh, how your shoe size and all that kind of stuff. So, And what you like on your pizza. <laughs> yeah. Actually, all right, all right, yeah, go on then. What's your favorite pizza? Let's start off with the icebreaker. Oh, you guys are going to hate me for it, but I only like, uh, I basically only pepperoni pizza. Oh. And that wrong with that. Yeah, what's wrong with you know, that? It's just, it's, it's, no, it's just so default. People always tell me, oh, put something else on your pizza. I'm like, no, I like cheese and pepperoni. I'm going to put it on there. I don't need anything else. I, you know what you like, man. You know what you like. It's not sick. It's you normal. know, it's just default pizza, you know? Yeah. I don't see, I don't see what the problem is with that, to be fair. I mean, I wouldn't only eat that, but. No, I mean, the guy likes what he likes. Yeah. I do also like, uh, well, it's barbecue sauce and chicken. I don't oh, know. Yeah. have that over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we do have yeah. a Domino's do a good one of them. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. When I'm like real hungry, that's the way to go. But if I'm in an Italian restaurant, I'll always get a pepperoni pizza. Ah, oh, nice. So, Geek, what got you into playing Daisy? Um, I was a PlayStation player um, on PlayStation 3. I was playing Call of Duty. And back in the day, from my sister, her ex boyfriend showed me uh, the survival game on a PC. It was Daisy. <laughs> God knows how long it was ago, 2014 or something. Um, it looked so interesting to me um, that two years later, when I finally did get a PC that would kind of run Daisy, I had to put the game into uh, window mode. Um, so yeah, basically my 
sister's ex-boyfriend showed me the game. I've then watched YouTube videos about it because I was interested, but I couldn't play because I didn't have a PC. I think the first credit I watched was Minder, and then that's when I realized, yo, this game is really fucking cool. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was I couldn't wait to finally play it. That's mad. Do you know? Uh, do you know how many people genuinely would say Minder is one of their first YouTubers? It, do you know what I mean? Like Minder ha- has actually just. He's got a whole generation of people captivated, yes. hasn't he? Yes. I think he's on mine and Andy's list of first watch, isn't he, Andy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He definitely was the first content creator that that piqued my interest for it. It was just, and that was back in oh shit, I can't even think when it was before it came to to console anyway. So what we're talking about early 2018, I reckon. So yeah. really, not that, actually. How long ago was that? What year were we in? 24. Yeah, we've been. Yeah, we've been some time now. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. there's people that have been playing for a hell of a lot longer than we have. But yeah, Minder was definitely on the top of the list at that point. So he comes up on all the algorithms and shit like that. Watch all the content and you go, fuck me, I'm getting this game. <laughs> yeah, even even back then, what was so fascinating was that um, I think the first videos of him I watched was Brothers of Daisy. And yeah. he had that cinematic intro with the nice music. And I, I basically kind of started watching the videos only for the intro and the music because I found it so cool. Mm. And then YouTube started recommending me more videos. And then what really then pushed me to wanting to play this game and then mm-hmm. also um, getting it was uh, I got a smaller YouTuber back then. He was quite small, uh, recommended to me, uh, Jcon72. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I started watching his entire channel, man. I, I know every video, I've probably watched it two or three times. And uh, that was the kick then for me to, I have to get this game and I have to play like him. There was no other game that really... Le- I don't think I'd ever seen a YouTube video about a game like that before, where they could be scripted into... Sto- not scripted as such, but you know what I mean? Moulded into stories and shit like that. You don't really get that before then, did you, really? You don't really see gaming videos no, like exactly. you do with Daisy. It's strange, strange phenomenon, isn't it? Even back then, when I was... Because I was playing on PlayStation, I was quite new to gaming mm. and... I was told, yo, there's this survival game on PC, open world, uh, where you fight zombies and other players. And I'm like, what? That sounds so cool, you know? And I was just playing Call of Duty on the PlayStation all day. I was a bit small, you know? (laughs) And it was so beyond my understanding. An open world game with zombies, you know? Sounds so sick. And yeah, I started watching the YouTube videos. And then here we are, (laughs) 10 years later. Your YouTube's doing really well. You know, you've got 14.1K subscribers with an all-time high of an 80k views video like three years ago that's bloody good going isn't it i think that's correct i'm gonna believe you on that yeah uh, of course it's correct we're professional boys we've Deke. always we're professional. got the facts here we've always <laughs> got the facts uh the regular listeners will know that we never get anything right so yeah <laughs> but this time we actually did some research yeah, we actually done a little bit. We put we put our A game in to this yeah. like to this interview. News more knows more about me than my own channel to double check if, if it is eighty k on the max uh, on the max video. But yeah, I have a quite a healthy, I would say, YouTube channel. It has its ups and downs, but uh, it's mainly going straight forward. Mm. Yeah, do some good storytelling, some like really good like editing and con- like content creating on YouTube, like which is obviously paying off really well if you've got a video that's got like eighty k views. I mean, what was that? Three years ago, looting route. Well, that probably will sound really weird from three years ago, but I don't know. It's all these older videos, they get the views. It's also the same with the, the 100 sub special that I don't even know how I got almost 70k views. It's just a bunch of clips thrown into each other. Just hit them algorithms, baby. Or like people come to you to watch the, the PvP. Hey, that's me. I'm the PvP. <laughs> so you're definitely more... Um, uh, how I guess like your your stories are on YouTube, they're way more structured than they have used to be. I guess well, I tell you what, I'm not gonna lie. I have not I've only really known about you as a YouTube a YouTube creator content creator for maybe about a year though. Uh whereas recently your your let's put your PvP to the side for a moment. 
because your PvP is uh, phenomenal compared to at least how Dave and I play Daisy. We can't <laughs> we can't hit the shots that you fucking hit. So you're absolutely incredible. But you somehow uh, you're you're one of those few creators that can take that intense PvP situation and turn it into a story for your YouTube as well. How how do you do that, I guess? What's your, what's your personal journey on making those videos? Well, um, I've been doing those exact type of videos since, oh my God, 2019? Yeah. Uh, roughly four, for roughly four years. And it's just, if you watch my very first videos, you'll see how shitly I was editing. Yeah. Um, like it was horrendous. And the music was off. The cuts were too long.